Are you tired of your server's IP address changing every time you reboot? In today's video, I am going to show you how to configure a static IP address on RHL9 using the tools like NMTUI and NMCLI. RHL9 stands for Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9. Why to use a static IP address? A static IP ensures that your system retains the same IP address across the reboot, making it ideal for the server's remote access and networking configuration. This is crucial for setting up the services like web server, database, or anything that required a fixed network identity. To follow along with this tutorial, you need the following. A running instance of RHL9, access to the terminal with sudo or root privileges, and IP address of your system. To get the current IP address of your RHL9 system, run the command IP space A. The output shows that we are using an interface ENS160. This is the IPv4 address which is assigned to this interface. Slash 28 is my subnet mask. Verify the default gateway details as well. Run the command IP space route space show. So this is my default gateway which is assigned to the interface ENS160. So in this demo, I will be assigning the static IP address from this network. What I will do, I will replace the last octet 10 with 12. All right, let's start. Run the NMTUI utility using the command sudo space NMTUI. Hit enter, specify the password of your local user. Choose the first option, edit a connection. Hit enter. Choose the interface which you want to configure. So in our case, we have one interface that is ENS160. Go to edit and hit enter. Use the down arrow key. Go to this IPv4 configuration. Change this automatic to manual. And now go to show and hit enter. In the addresses, hit enter. Specify the IP address that you want to assign to this interface. So in my case, it is 172.20.10.12.28. In gateway field, specify the gateway IP address 172.20.10.1. In DNS servers, enter the DNS server IP address. So I am specifying the Google DNS server IP 8.8.8. .8 .8. Use down arrow key and then choose OK, hit enter. Go back and choose this activate a connection. Choose first deactivate and then activate. This will make the changes into the effect. So enter. Now this interface is deactivate. Now again hit enter. Now it's activated. Go back, choose quit and hit enter. Now run the command IP space A. In the output, I can see the IPv4 IP address has been changed. Verify the route as well. Okay, the route is also updated. Now try to reach the internet. Let's try to ping google.com. Output confirms that we can reach to the google.com. Okay. This confirms that we have successfully assigned a static IP address to this interface ENS160 using the NMTUI utility. Let's move to the next part, which is NMCLI. NMCLI is a command line tool for managing network settings. It's perfect for those who prefer working directly into the terminal. Let me clear the screen first. First, get the current IP address of your system. For that, you can run NMCLI command. The output shows that we have assigned this IP 172.20.10.12 to this interface. Let's verify the connection name as well. For that, use NMCLI connection show. 
so this is my connection name and this is my interface name so in my case connection name and interface name both are same now run this nmcli command to configure the static ip address so what i will do i will be changing this last octet 12 with 14 and the command sudo space nmcli connection and then modify connection name is ens160 if name interface name is also ens160 ipv4 dot method is manual means we are assigning the static ip address manually to this interface ens160 and then specify ipv4 dot addresses 172.20.10.14/28 so this would be the static ip address which will be assigned to the ens160 interface slash 20 it is my subnet mask specify the default gateway ip as well gw4 and then the ip address of your default gateway it's 172.20.10.1 and then your DNS IP address. IP4.DNS, let's say 4.2.2. Hit enter, specify your local user password make these changes into the effect first we need to deactivate the connection and activate it again for that run sudo nmcli connection down and then connection name ens 160 now activate the connection Run the command sudo nmcli connection up and then connection name. Okay, let me clear the screen. Now run nmcli command to verify whether the new static IP is assigned to the interface or not. The output confirms that new static IP address has been assigned to this interface ENS 160. You can also verify it using the command IP space A and hit enter. This output also confirms that this static IP has been assigned successfully to this interface ENS 160. So overall, you can use any of this method to assign a static IP address to an interface on your RHL9 system. That's all from this video tutorial. I hope you have found it useful and informative. Please do like the video and subscribe our channel for more tech tutorials like this. Thank you. Bye. Have a nice day.